This Salesforce career path is ideal for big picture thinkers and problem solvers. I'm talking about the role of a Salesforce architect, and this is your guide on becoming one. My name is Kirill. I am a certified Salesforce developer and architect at Envay. We'll help businesses automate sales using Salesforce CRM. Let's get started. According to Glassdoor, as of June 2024, a Salesforce architect in the United States earns an average annual salary of nearly $124,000. Pretty impressive, right? So, what does Salesforce architect do? Simply put, they design and build solutions on the Salesforce platform to solve business problems. Their role is to make sure the solutions are efficient, scalable and follow the best practice. They work closely with stakeholders, developers and administrators to create systems that meet business needs and help shape the future of business. Now, let's talk about the career path. Becoming Salesforce Architect is a journey that takes time and experience. Here's a typical path. 1. Start as a Salesforce Admin or Salesforce Dev. Most people begin their Salesforce career in these roles. As an administrator, you will learn the platform basics like how to configure Salesforce, automate processes and support users. As a developer, you will dive deeper into Salesforce's technical capabilities, including building custom solutions using Salesforce code like Apex and Visual Force. The skills you develop as admin or dev are the foundation for your architect career. 2. Transition into a senior Salesforce role After gaining experience as a developer or advanced admin, you can move into senior roles like senior Salesforce consultant or solution engineer. In these positions, you will work on large projects, lead teams and interact more with clients or high-level stakeholders. 3. Gain experience in multiple Salesforce clouds To become a well-rounded Salesforce architect, it's important to work with different Salesforce clouds like sales clouds, service clouds, marketing cloud, and others. Architect need a broad understanding of the platform to design solutions that work across multiple business units. 4. Obtain advanced certification. Any advanced certification is a key milestone. This certification shows that you have in-depth knowledge and can design complex solutions. 5. Work as a solution or technical architect. After gaining a few years of experience in senior roles, you can aim for positions like Solution Architect or Technical Architect. Here, you will lead the design and implementation of Salesforce projects, guiding both the business and technical teams. 6. Achieve the Salesforce Certified Technical Architect certification. The ultimate goal for many is to become a Certified Technical Architect. This is the highest certification Salesforce offers. To earn this certification, you must pass an on-site exam, where you solve a hypothetical scenario and present your solution to judges. Achieving this certification places you at the top of the field and opens doors to leadership roles and major companies. There are various types of Salesforce Architects certification. Here is the most popular Salesforce Data Architect. This certification is for those who design scalable high-performance solution for enterprise data on the Salesforce platform. Salesforce Platform App Builder. This certification is for those who design, build and implement custom apps using Salesforce's declarative tools. Salesforce Sharing and Visibility Architect. This certification is for those who design scalable, high-performance solutions on Salesforce, focusing on sharing and visibility security. With S3 certification plus the Platform Developer 1 certification, you will earn the Salesforce Application Architect credential I mentioned earlier. Then, Salesforce Development Lifecycle and Deployment Architect. This is certification is for those who design and implement management solutions on Salesforce, tailored on architecture requirements. Salesforce Identity and Access Management Architect. This is certification is for those who design scalable, high-performance solutions on Salesforce, 
focusing on single sign-on requirements. Salesforce Integration Architect, this is certification is for those who design scalable technical solution on Salesforce, focusing on end-to-end -end integrations. With this strict certification plus the Developer One certification, you will receive the Salesforce System Architect's credential I mentioned earlier too. And the highest possible achievement is the Technical Architect, which requires both Application Architect and System Architect credentials. You might be wondering where to start your journey. Let's go over a simple step-by-step -step guide to becoming a Salesforce Architect. 1. Learn the basics. Start by learning Salesforce through Trailhead, Salesforce's official learning platform. Focus on fundamentals like configuration, data management, and automation. 2. Get hands-on experience. Look for opportunities to gain real-world experience, whether through internships, volunteer work, or side projects. The goal is to apply what you have learned. 3. Earn certification. Begin with foundational certification like Salesforce Administrator and Platform App Builder. Then aim for advanced certification, such as Application Architect or System Architect. 4. Work on large projects. As you gain more experience, look for opportunities to work on large Salesforce implementation, integration and custom development. These projects will help you build the skills needed for architect roles. 5. Develop key soft skills. Communication, leadership and problem solving are just as important as technical skills. As an architect, you will often be the bridge between technical teams and business stakeholders. So, clear communication is a key. 6. Build a portfolio. Document your projects and accomplishments. A strong portfolio showcases your expertise and helps you stand out when applying for high-level roles. 7. Network with the Salesforce community. Join Salesforce users groups, attend events, and connect with professionals on LinkedIn. Networking can provide mentorship opportunities and keep you updated on industry trends. 8. Seek architect positions. Once you have built your experience and skills, start applying for architect positions. Tailor your resume to showcases relevant projects, certification and leadership experiences. And that's how you can become a Salesforce architect. It's a journey that takes time, learning and hands-on experience. But if you follow this path and stay committed, you can reach this rewarding career. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and good luck on your journey to becoming a Salesforce architect.